Hi, and welcome on Flyfish Fly Tying. Today I show you how to tie an EP fiber baitfish. You can tie this fly in different sizes, so you can use hooks up to 2.0 or whatever. Uh, you just need to make sure that your fibers are long enough, but those fibers I use here are long enough definitely. So you see I use an Eric's NS122 here and a Vivus white thread. Make your ground winding and then as usual I do my uni stretch Chinese red bed bait point because I really like that as a eye catcher for the fish so to say. Just make a little knob in the back and then fix it in. Then I do some more ground winding just to give the material which comes next in this case tinsel a good grounding. Okay, tie it in and then I think this gives the fly a very nice shimmer in the body. You can use uh, dubbing as well if you like. So I, I think be creative. I just uh, show you this fly I have done that was craft for sure. I showed you with some different material. And by the way, so if I do three or four wings, so you try it also with just one or two. So probably that looks good. So you see me here now I'm tying in the EP fibers, the flash blend fibers. I do two bunch of hairs, but uh, yeah, as I said, you could do one as well. So which will give the fly a slimmer profile then at the end. By the way, this fibers uh, really don't get water. So what I do here is some peacock fibers. And then another layer for the wing. As I said, you could do the upper wing now if you like. So you see me here tying in layer by layer. I just want to give this fly in this case a little thicker profile. But as I said, so if you want to have a slimmer profile, just uh, do less. And you can go up to just one layer of pretty slim white hair and one of the slinky blend or whatever then for the back. Yeah. Tie this in and then you see this fly has a very thick profile. I then use a lighter and just uh, yeah melt the fibers which go over the eye of the hook. And then I do my whip finish. Yeah, and then um, you see, I, I want to have a little bit this shape like I do it. So I trim the fly a little bit here. And then I will glue on the eyes. Yeah, I used some super glue here, which <laughs> makes the eye sticking on the finger. So happens to everyone. Okay, then make sure on the other side that it looks that they are equal where you want to have them. I think this is a little time consuming normally to position the eyes where you want to have them. And you see, I use very big eyes here, so you can use slimmer or smaller eyes, so just as you prefer. If the fly is, is wet, so this uh, EP fiber really gets some kind of transparent, which is really, really nice. 
Yeah, I use uh, UV glue here now to build the head and I built the head in several steps here. You also can do it in just one, so it's preference. The only thing I want to mention here, what I think is really important, that you also do some glue over the over the eyes you, you have in. I think if you do it in separate steps, so you have a little more flexibility to shape it and probably size the head up to the size you want to have it and the shape for sure. Sorry, I think I need to learn to tie without fingers in the screen. Yeah, honestly, the gluing of the head is the most time consuming thing on the whole fly. Anyway, as I said, you could have used smaller eyes and probably the gluing would have become easier too. By the way, you will find the materialist at the end of this vid video. So you can stay always relaxed with those adhesives, UV glues, or even if you do it with epoxy. Epoxy gives you some time and, and also the glues are not really so they're normally available in in thick or in thin so i use a thick variant here and the thick stays a little longer where you put it but anyway it starts running over the head stuff like that but anyway so if things like that happen just take the uh, the hair off and then you can use a dubbing needle as well if you like and and re or, yeah, bring the material the glue where you want to have it so you see now here I have a little, yeah, on the top of the head, it looks not like I want. So I will probably give it some more glue to shape it a little more, the shape I want to have. And you see you have time, so it's not running fast. If you use the thin stuff, probably it's running faster, but even that is not really tricky as a rotating wise definitely is advantage. Once you have built your head, I, I use this sterile alcohol pads here. I trim the fly a little more. Don't do too much, so do it in, in more steps if you trim, because if you do too much, probably you cannot bring the material back. Anyway, now I just wipe off the adhesives, which comes if you cure the the glue with the light and makes uh, yeah makes the adhesives the glue able to do different layers honestly without the adhesives it wouldn't stick on each other yeah and then give it some clear vanish over and you're done so very nice fly and thanks for watching this video so if you like subscribe and yeah more to come from my end have a good day bye bye